So now more than ever, after a year of complete uncertainty, more people than ever need a little guidance when it comes to our finances. So joining us today is head of Goldman Sachs Personal Financial Management, Joe Duran. Joe, we all need you in our lives right now. During these uncertain times, how are you advising your clients? Well, it's been a truly uncertain times and, and really unparalleled times. We've had a a 35% decline in six weeks earlier this year, and then this incredible recovery led by tech stocks, really low interest rates, and everyone is now in this tug of war between the fear of missing out on further market advances or losing money if uh, if things go strange in the election. So our advice is, is always the same advice. Number one, don't let your emotions rule your decision-making. Emotions are very, very dangerous for you. Fear and greed cannot help you when you come to investing. And number two, to keep perspective, uh, your money is not just for today, but it's for tomorrow and the year after that and the year after that and for decades. And so you need to make investment decisions that are long term and perspective. So keep your emotions in check and have perspective of time on your side. A lot easier said than done sometimes, right? Keeping those emotions in check. So you have a client. They're That's saying, right, you know yeah. what? You have a, a client, they're saying, I need a financial planner right now. What is something that they should look for when finding a financial planner? Well, the first and most important thing is get an advisor that understands you. Uh, if they aren't able to know who you are, we're all unique human beings. We have our own situations, our own jobs, very unique family circumstances, and our own expectations for the future. You need an advisor that understands that because any advice they give you has to be built around your unique circumstances. Second, they should have the expertise and resources to solve your problems beyond investing. A good advisor today can do much more than simply invest your money. They can help you with a financial plan. They can help you uh, deal with your estate uh, or think about taxes. So uh, great advisors understand you well and then help you make great decisions, help you identify your blind spots so that you don't make mistakes that, that end up harming you. So, Joe, you've been talking about these uncertain times. What are some specific challenges that we're facing, and how can we address those? Well, there are three things right now looming. Number one, the pandemic and does it come back. We've seen in London and Madrid, they're talking about closing those cities again. They're seeing a spike. Does that happen in the U.S. in the fall? Number two, we've got a, an election looming, and it's going to be a close election. Our research shows that close elections lead to high volatility markets, so you should expect higher volatility. And third, Interest rates are historic lows. We're at 0.6, 0.7% on a 10-year bond. That's going to be that way for a long time. Where do you find yield? Uh, if you're retired or even if you're not retired, what do you do with the higher valuations you have as a consequence? So those are the three challenges facing investors right now. Okay, Joe, you know, I've been following, uh, following currency. What are your thoughts on cryptocurrency? Well, cryptocurrency, um, again, uh, it's... Forms of cryptocurrency will be part of our lives forever. Uh, whether Bitcoin is the answer or not, I don't know. I don't believe so. But the reality is cryptocurrency is happening every day. And what is more important is the blockchain that backs it, the technology that allows it to happen. Think about the last time you even used money to buy anything. Uh, and so I think cryptocurrency and the way the world interacts with each other will be part of, of using an electronic form of payment whether it's in dollars or, or in yuan, uh, each country will have its own form of cryptocurrency at some point. Great information. You know, I was at a restaurant last night and it said cash only. And I thought, I don't know the last time I actually had cash in my wallet. So I absolutely <laughs> right. agree with you. Yeah. yeah. So Joe Duran, where can our viewers go for more information? If they'd like to learn more, you can go to goldmanpfm.com. That stands for Goldman Sachs Personal Financial Management. Uh, and if you go to Goldman PFM, you, what you'll find is three things. One, you'll get a lot of research and resources to help you think about how you make financial choices right now in this environment. Number two, it's a great diagnostic tool that in five minutes will tell you how you think and feel about money. It's really fun, but also really educational. And then lastly, if you want to speak to an advisor, we have great advisors. They're right there in Phoenix. Uh, you'll learn more about them and can reach out to them. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Joe. You guys have a great day.